We're in the gate gym, so a lot of treadmill training and walking happens in this room. We're using the Zero G bodyweight support system right now with the treadmill. It not only can take off a little bit of body weight, so it's easier for Nikki to work, it also provides a fall protection. So, you know, Nikki's not gonna fall in this harness. There's a setting in it where if she moves more than four inches, it will just stop, the treadmill stops. So it's a nice confidence thing too. The other really cool piece of technology that we have in the gate room is the local mat. And the local mat is robotic body weight supported treadmill training. There is a harness that suspends a person's body weight and then there are robotic legs that we attach to the patient and it actually moves their legs at the hips, knees, and the ankles to provide a normal gait pattern. Tighten it, come on, tighten. Yes, good. That was nice timing too. Currently the body weight support is suspending about 110 pounds of Derek's body weight and then he's currently supporting 65 pounds of his body weight. So that allows him to work on activating his muscles for standing, even though they're super weak right now, he can start to initiate what a normal gait pattern would look like and what it would be like to fire his quads and his glutes in standing. Typically what we would do is that we would start on the local mat having a lot more assistance um, with the gait, and then as he gets stronger and he's able to do more, I would transition him to the zero G light. If you need me to back off on this speed, let me know. I'm just gonna check your heart rate. You know, we want to be careful when we're working our patients hard, but we need them to work hard. That's part of, of therapy, but we do monitor heart rate the entire time so we know that it's safe, we know she's responding appropriately. Working at high intensities is what's going to make patients better, um, and we're seeing that those balance activities and the transfers are getting better as we do these things too. If you would have been here the first week, we had a second person who was stabilizing her. Um, we had a lot more weight taken off her so she could have the endurance and the ability to help move her right leg. Um, and I was down there working really hard, helping you move your leg, helping you so it wasn't buckling. Um, and we weren't going nearly this fast. And game is she's not on a treadmill with a harness system when she goes home. So she has to feel comfortable on the ground too. So we do a fair amount of challenging things without the treadmill too. I love this because we can get people moving quickly. Like I think it was huge for Nikki to even the first week, week and a half, that she could see where we were going. It just gives me the ability to get people up faster, to work them hard, and I've seen great results with this.